Work Zoning Committee. Everyone is here except uh, Councilman Johnson, the Mayor, Mr. Jackson, Johnson rather. Muriel, do you want to take the first item, please? Yes, sir. Uh, before you, we have an item that, that's on the agenda that we're trying to get a resolution to improve the road conditions at Dorchester Drive, at Medills Drive. We do have professional opinion as to what we can do to make that area safer. It should be included in your binders along with all the photographs and the opinion from our consultant engineer. Are each of you familiar with it? It's spit forth the needles. Yeah, I'm any? familiar with it. Uh, the only thing I, I, the only question I had about it was uh, where, uh, I guess, Dorchester crosses. It, it really makes a zigzag. Not even going to present any kind of safety issue. Based upon the opinion that we got from uh, Pan American Engineers, that's their best case scenario that this would improve road conditions. So we're basing it upon their judgment, and he has uh, expertise in the area. Oh, he, uh, uh, Mr. Gagnard definitely has expertise in that area. And his so, comments and everything is included I read it. in your documentation. Absolutely. Uh, I'll so move. All right. Second. Second. Okay, any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? Okay, the second resolution on the roadway. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the same goes for uh, Horseshoe Drive and North Drive at Louise Avenue. There have been some conditions over there that we feel are uh, maybe safety hazards. And to improve the intersection along this area, which joins uh, several subdivisions, we're, we've received information from Pan American Engineers how to improve the road conditions, and we're going to go with the lesser of the costs that involve with the improving this uh, particular roadway. Administration recommends that. Uh, yes, sir. Any question on that? Here you go. Move. The, uh, I just had a couple of questions. I, that, I read that over too. The, the rumble strips, uh, they won't present any kind of uh, problem in the same relation as uh, the speed hump would? No, sir. They're pretty much for a sound barrier just to bring to your attention that there are some conditions that are uh, apparent. Uh, okay, uh, that intersection is a dangerous one because of the line out second. Did you know? Did you move? Yes. I second. All right. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? Anything else for you, Muriel? No, sir. That's uh, it. Okay. On the third thing, on the fast track, uh, Eric James, who is going to give you a game? Mr. Duck has that report for you. All right. At the heading, I've got uh, italic type. Any color is wording added uh, on for this report. I thought it was uh, the report was getting to the point that it's hard to tell what was old stuff and what's new stuff. And since I color coded it for other reasons, I said, well, I need another way of uh, of showing the changes. Uh, not a lot of uh, things have changed since the last report. Uh, things are still moving along. Uh, I'd like to bring your attention to item number 11. Uh, the cost of this project uh, can be used as part of the city's overall financial responsibility to the Alexandria to the Gulf of Mexico drainage project. And you may have heard this call the Big Ditch Project. Over the years, it's been called several different different things. Uh, so if we spend money on this particular, or when we spend money on this project, it will be credited to what we would normally have to pay our portion of the overall drainage project. Uh, number 18, Elizabeth Street and in, uh, in, uh, Street Drainage Improvements. Uh, Biggest thing is we, we had the on-site visit and uh, discussed the conflicts with utilities and most of the uh, 
utility departments indicated that they thought that the, if the project was put in the way it was described, that we're probably not going to have a lot of a lot of problems, and, and hopefully it can continue in that manner. Uh, Uh, number 41, uh, engineering contracts are being reviewed on the drainage and roadway improvements, improvements from Horseshoe Drive and uh, Clover Lane. Uh, number 32, Appleby and Dorchester, the program completion uh, drawings are, are being reviewed. And there are, there are a few other submittals that have been made that are on my desk to be reviewed, but just haven't had opportunity to, uh, to look at some of those. I'll be glad to talk to anything on here if you have a specific question. Sir, sure. uh, <clears throat> what I would like to do is uh, I'm going to set up the a and &E Selection Committee on 2, 4, 6, 8, 14, 18, 37, and 42. That seems to where we are, we are sort of deadheaded. That because we hadn't, we haven't been to any &E selection. Am I correct? Mr. Hobbs, could you say that one more time just so I can start from? Uh, I'm going by in the blue type. No, two, okay, all the ones in the blue. Two, four, four six, eight. It has that. Yeah, six, eight, 14, 18, 37, and 42. 18 <coughs> doesn't need to be in there. That's uh, ABC, I believe. That's correct. Oh, okay. Take, take, take 18 out. Take, take 6 and 18 out. Take 6 out, you say? Yeah, 40. Anything else on the, uh, I think you had a recommendation. Do you have one first? Wait, Mr. Silver, I just wanted to note to you that uh, three of 42 projects are in black type, meaning that they're moving slowly, and I just wanted to note that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, we have a request <clears throat> for an ordinance to be entered by unanimous consent for tonight. Uh, the ordinance is authorizing the acquisition of various parcels of land required for the construction of the extension of Siles Boulevard Phase 1 and the acquisition of sewer servitudes for the construction of a gravity sewer main in connection with the extension of Versailles, Versailles Boulevard uh, Phase 1. And the parcels are listed. There's four parcels that we'd like to present tonight for the council to uh, enter for introduction. All right, is that acceptable? I'll move. Second. Second. Ready to discuss there any questions you want to direct? Now, you say acquire. Were these acts of donations? Yes. As I appreciate it? Yes. OK. Are acts of transfer, transfer. And, acts of sale and transfer to deal with wild company and with the diaspora problems. Okay. There is for introduction only. Uh, it allows the ordinance has been prepared by us, been reviewed by Mr. Monstrum, and it, they allow the mayor to accept the transfers, which uh, Good price. have been given to us without us paying any money. Thank you. All those in favor, sing by the AI. Opposed, back to public order. Now, you mentioned something that, uh, from the standpoint of being a little bit more efficient, giving you a time to prepare for more, rather than have this every meeting that you thought you would like to do it, every other meeting? Is yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Can you the state the reason why and, and uh, so we'll be aware of Well, there's just not a tremendous amount of progress every two weeks. It, it would be more advantageous to be able to present it monthly, and we would have more results to be able to bring you at that time. Is that a quarter with everybody here? No, I don't have a problem. Okay. That's just for information. Now you want to say something? No. Uh, who's going to introduce that one? Numbers. Just a second. Just one second.
For number six? Wait, 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 yeah. wait now. What about that hard shoe? Uh, the group, group, thing? Uh, that's that's uh, number uh, 41. Uh, we just got to review the contracts and, and uh, get those back to the consultant and finalize the contracts on them. Maybe I'll finish. You say you're reviewing the contract? Yes, sir. No. Uh, they, they had sent the contracts in uh, uh, some time back, but you know, since the projects weren't on the right. top 40, you know, we just put them in the file and, and held them, and uh, so you know, we just put this back on the list uh, this past time. So uh, we'll we'll get those out. Yeah, okay. <coughs> You got anything else? Go ahead and finish with that. Go ahead. I have, I have a resolution, but I'll wait until the very end. What else you have? That's it. Uh, I want to introduce this uh, this fact sheet. Uh, uh, Title authorized the mayor to enter into a professional service agreement for architecture and related service for the Third Street. Uh, third Street project including Main Street from St. James Street to Broadway uh, with M3 Architect ELS, William McElroy Architect, and to provide for funding related matter pertaining to that for uh, uh, This office is awarded for professional service agreement contact Mr. McElroy and foreign for service Third Street and Main Street project from St. James to Broadway. I'm going to reduce that. Does that require a motion second? Yeah. yeah. Is, that a, is that our normal procedure for architects and engineers? Yeah. We can do a professional service uh, contract. Well, I mean, do we have other people submit or what? I mean, I don't understand why we're doing it this way. Don't we normally have people submit and then we select? Not necessarily. I don't, uh, we can do a professional service uh, contract. And we're speeding up the process. We have met with uh, uh, Mr. Rodney Alexander. We got uh, the $2.5 million uh, down with the state. Our matching funds with, with, with 600000 This is one of the, uh, like the cheapest way for us to go. And, and uh, we get started. We'll have uh, uh, we'll ask uh, Kay, uh, Gil, and I talked to Mr. Rodney and the mayor talked to Mr. Rodney Alexander about sending a letter because we want to use, this is just we want to use some of this money to go to Broadway and then come back up Third Street, up to uptown. And we're speeding up, uh, 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 we, we speed up the process. And we talked to Mr. Uh, Mr. Branch, I'm, I'm glad he's, uh, I'm saying congratulations to you, taking over him over there and planning. And so uh, that's what that's what we're doing. Is the administration aware of that? Yeah, yes, we've been working on this thing. We got we got money we man out there. We, we have really do we have a firm commitment from the uh, feds? We, the money, the yeah, money we got the money. The money is there. Uh, money been set. Two weeks ago, we met with the DOTD. It's federal highway administration funds that um, the DOTD administers. And we met with the DOTD, the project manager, and his supervisor here in Alexandria. We looked at the project, and they talked to us about the design aspect and the, the different options for design. And um, Mr. Smith is um, inclined to uh, have McElroy perform the design aspect of this project. And that doesn't come out of the DOTD funds. We pay those up front. And um, then we have the $2.3 million with our match that we will do the project with. But the money is there, and the project is underway. Okay. With that in mind, is it, are there any other questions before we act on this recommendation? Is that the firm out of Jackson? Yep. They did the work for us before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Oh. Okay. Anything else to come before us before I have the. Do we need a motion and second? Sure. Second. I'll second. 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 All those in favor? Opposed? 
question. I'm fast track. One one that I'm looking at is uh, recreation park improvements, and of course that's uh, something sexy to me. But where are we on? Are we going to do an RFP for all the parks, or are we going to do it individually? How how are we going to approach that? I don't know, Mr. Lawson. We haven't discussed. Uh, I'll have to get with the mayor on that. Uh, we, what we envision doing with ARAP is rating them in several categories, uh, maybe up to four categories, so that you can be presented first with categories of need, uh, and then then go out for an RFP. And, and that's up to y'all. But we certainly think we need to categorize them so that you know a, a, need, a community needs base, Mr. Loss. In other words, what is a representative group of our community saying about those projects? And we thought that would be nice to be driven by the community. Sure. Good. And their respective Otherwise, we'll never make anybody happy. Right. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Did you can tell them about we just about finished with the downtown, that, that last part. In fact, um, I received the bid tabulation this week on the last task order for the um, Third Street project down to St. James, the, the first phase of the project. Um, and this is the, the final task order um, where we're going to have the pavement stamped, have some benches installed, trash receptacles, just the finishing touches. And the bid tabulation um, came in. Um, as expected, and um, we're going to approve it um, if planning is, is on board with it. Um, I, I just emailed Darren Green, and I see he's here. He probably hasn't even received my email yet, but we'll be writing the DOTD to accept this contract and uh, finish up this last phase of the first phase of the project. And uh, excuse me, also, I talked with the mayor about Sugar House. Mr. Tom Devy has already submitted. Mr. Duck, you want to relate on that? How fast we? Uh, I don't. I mean, everything. Everybody look at fast. We're just trying to get them. They'll be moving. Yeah. The the uh, Mr. Davi submitted uh, application for uh, for state funding through the through the legislature, and I understand we we were funded, but I don't know the results of that. We're, we're in uh, two two good categories, uh, as was reported in the newspaper. Um, we could not have done better on the. We only asked for two things, Mr. Smith. Uh, we have uh, money from an incubator that Mr. Hess asked for, which is categorized in a good spot. I think it's 1.7 million. Is that right? Is that correct? And the other thing that we pushed for to make sure we were all united, and I came to all of you beforehand, if you recall, was Sugar House. And we have that uh, in better categories. And to be honest with you, I would have expected going into it. So those things are in place. I think what Mr. Smith is trying to do, Mr. Fowler, is get a few things moving, and, and that's what we're doing. Uh, the Third Street issue has been just prolonged and going on and on and on since the day I came in. Uh, it is near and dear to a lot of folks in the city, uh, particularly people who would like to see an area of town that has not received so much attention and could be a gateway, receive some attention. And so, to be honest with you, I think it is the best thing that we can do and go forward. I think that, you know, sometimes you, you can sit back and, and look at each thing and uh, uh, kind of detail it to death. We need to get some of these moving. I was happy to hear Mr. Hobbs pushing to go ahead and go out for A&E on those big projects. The two, Marquee and Sugar House and 6th and 7th Street, they need to happen. We need to get on those things right away. And so this is just another example of that. Third Street's been lingering. We talked to Rodney Alexander to correct an issue about it covering both ways, since it technically was Third Street. Main Street goes the other way, but those are, the, those are essentially act as the same roadway in, in the two directions. So those are things that uh, Mr. Smith has been pushing and been the point person on and has done a good job of tasking those things and helping the administration. So it is with favorable recommendation that we'd like to see that happen. I know you've already voted on it. Okay. Tell them about uh, did you did you hit about Lincoln Road? I'm sorry. You hit about Lincoln Road? Did I hear about it? Did you t talk about Mr. No. W? No, I didn't specifically say anything about it, but uh, uh, I did do the the review of the program completion and authorized them to proceed with it. So uh, they're they're actively designing yeah. on that project. Be running on the Are there any other yeah. district besides <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the polls, I, mean, I want to. I want to finish on. Oh, like hell! I want to finish. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Have you, fin have you finished, Mr. Smith? Thank goodness. Okay. Now, I, we've been working before I got on on the uh, on the council. We passed a, a, a tax some years ago, which is up for renewal this Saturday, and we have prepared a resolution that I would like to read to you for your edification. It said a resolution on the Saturday, July 21, 2007 proposition, election on the sales and millage for tax renewal. Whereas sales tax collections account for over 25% of the city's general fund budget each fiscal year. And whereas the millage tax on property and improvements funds many capital projects and related work on streets, sidewalks, drainage, and many more vital improvements in the city. And whereas on Saturday, July 21st, the renewal of these important revenues for the city will be submitted again to the electors for fair consideration. And whereas the citizens of Alexandria should know that without the renewal of the important revenues that many services in the city will be eliminated or reduced as 61% of the funds collected pay for more than 700 hard-working employees who serve the citizens every day. And whereas many programs and divisions in the city will need to be curtailed or eliminated without the renewal of the taxes. And whereas departments like the zoo and recreation will be severely curtailed or eliminated without the renewal. Whereas the police and fire departments are dependent on the tax renewals to continue the level of service with personal personal necessary to staff the public safety responsibilities in our city. Section 1, be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Alexandria, the electors of the city are encouraged to exercise their vote on both the renewal of the sales tax and millage tax propositions and to be informed and participate in the important election proposition Saturday, July 21st. Having been, this resolution having been submitted in writing, was then submitted with final vote as a whole, the vote thereon being as follows. We're recommending this be submitted to the council at large at a regular meeting. With this in mind, we are merely just reading this, making this sale, we're not soliciting, but enlightening you to the consequences of the uh, this importance of this. Yeah. I'll move. Second, any further discussion? Uh, Trey Gates, is there anything that you want to add to or do you think we did it eloquently enough? Okay. Is there anything else to become before the uh, Public Works Committee? If not, we'll stand adjourned. Thank you. Okay.